Joey Porter Jr. speaking at the draft, the corner out of Penn State, speaking about his Steelers connection, Ike. I would absolutely love this pick. We know what Joey Porter, his dad brought to the Steelers organization, one of your teammates. If he's there at a position of need at 17, I think the Steelers are going to be hard pressed to say, hey, are we really going to pass on someone who is a special talent, but also shares a Pittsburgh connection? Born and raised in Wex for PA, uh, Joey Porter Jr., Pittsburgh kid. Uh, grew up in the locker room just as well as my son. So when you grow up in the locker room and all you know is playoffs and winning Super Bowls in a short amount of time and how we got there when it comes down to the brotherhood and working out and treating each other uh, just as well as we're going to treat ourselves, caring for each other just as well as we're going to care for ourselves, um, having to understand what it took to take your pride and ego to the side, all for the sake of the team, uh, the work ethic. That's what that's what Joy Porter Jr. grew up on. That's what my son grew up on. That's what my nephews grew up on. So when it comes down to that's still a connection, that's all he knows. You know, Peasy still lives in the in the city of Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh embraces Joy Porter, Joy Porter Sr., his dad. So, you know, it, it's just it's just that connection, Mark. Being born and raised in the city of Pittsburgh, but you just so happen to play football, but yet you come around a time where we was just doing nothing but winning, 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 winning. That's 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 forever memory. So that's the connection. Um, that's the brotherhood. Uh, you become a yinzer, and that's exactly what Joey Porter Jr. is. He's a yinzer. The city has embraced him. He embraced the city, but it's a blue collar, hard working city. Ain't nothing fancy about it. All they do is grind, bring the lunchbox to work, and we just gonna we just gonna take care of our family and uh and do what we need to do. And that's what Joey Porter, you know, Jr. did. He came. He came. Uh, he ran his 40. His first time, he liked the second time. I don't think he did like but he won't trip him. He's still going to be a top 15 pick. If he slide, he slide. We'll see what Pittsburgh do. But um, just just looking at his tape, watching his tape, uh, I remember him being small. I had to look up to him. He like six two and a half, almost six three. And I was like, damn, JJ. JJ, man, I remember y'all boys just being itty-bitty babies. Now y'all boys just towering over me. So it's just good to see. Kids, we saw as kids get in a position to be a first round draft pick. It's just, it's just, it's just crazy. It's just like a proud uncle be like, man, I remember when he was like, hey, I watched him grow up. So, Morgan, it's just, I, shout out to Joy Porter Senior, shout out to Joy Porter uh, Jr. Um, for just putting yourself in this position. Proud dad, I know, uh, Joey Porter, uh, senior is. Proud uncle, Ike Taylor. Special, Ike. And I see the smile on your face, too. It, it, your facial expression tells me everything there, Ike. And, you know, I'll, I'll read the direct quote. He had at the combine says, it would mean a lot to my family. Been in the Pittsburgh area a while. Staying home would mean a lot, end quote. He's talking about going up against Antonio Brown as a high schooler. Now I know AB probably wasn't going a hundred percent, but when you know what the expectation is to be successful at the highest you, level early, early Ike. Yeah. It's just, when you get to college, it's like, man, I just, I'm going against AB arguably at the time was the best player in the NFL mm -hmm. and I'm in high school. So when I get to college, I'm like, y'all cool. I'm, I'm going up against, I'm going up against a future Hall of Famer if they won't put him in up. And we was doing this in training camp damn near every day for the past two years. So how you want my mindset to be when I go to college? Like, ain't none of y'all better than who I've been going against in high school. And this including high school receivers and college receivers. I just so that that does that ain't nothing but a confidence booster when you when you do that. And the fact that he stepped out on the field to do it says a lot about JJ. Like JJ, like. Hey, A B, let me get some of this work, bro. Like, it's cool. I know you're gonna smoke, man. I'm I ain't tripping off of none of that. But at the same time, man, you ain't doing nothing but helping my mentality at the top. And as a cornerback, we all say you gotta have a short memory because you know, sometimes you get the bell, sometimes the bell gets you. You just gotta get the bell more times than not. So for me, that's all it was. It was the mentality of Joy uh Porter Jr. So for him to be going against A B in high school, I can only imagine when he got to college, he was already set mentally.